It says OA 110.6. What's up you guys? Good morning. Um, you guys seen on the scale that I weigh 110.6. That's about um, what I was weighing when I actually stopped prepping. So I'm not gaining any weight, but I've definitely been in a little funk. Um, I haven't been to the gym consistently, and I also haven't been eating the greatest either. But today's Monday, new day, um, and I decided to get up at 6 a.m. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark out there still. Um, I decided to get up at 6 a.m. because I normally get up around 7.38 and um, upload this video, answer some client emails, and then head to the gym for about an hour. And then I'm gonna meet up with Natalia um, at 9 a.m. at the office because we have a lot of organizing to do. All that inventory, um, we moved yesterday into the office. Um, we broke down the shelves and everything's like in bags. So I have to go organize it with her, build shelves, and that looks like that's my day today so i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog um and today's workout and happy monday egg whites oats okay you guys um so i'm pulling up to equinox and no joke like there's rolls royces and like bentley's and like everything just literally parked outside the destination is on your um, left 1835 crazy actually Boulevard. but i don't know the hype with arrived la i can't <laughs> i like this gym and everything but just like you could tell like a lot of people have money here and like they're successful and uh, everybody thinks they're just extra special i guess I kind of miss my rugged gym, I'm not gonna lie. Even though I've been here twice, I am gonna take advantage of the, um, I'm gonna take advantage of the, uh, yeah, Bentleys, Maseratis, that's everything. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm gonna take advantage of the actual spa and the jacuzzi though today, I'm excited about that.
So just got done with a brutal leg workout and I hear that there is a rooftop gym. So I'm on a mission to go look for it right now. So I have to say that Equinox is amazing. <laughs> I used all the amenities in there today and you guys can see in the vlog that I showed you guys the rooftop gym that I had no idea it was there. It's amazing. It's like a huge outdoor gym area. They call it the playground. Then I used the sauna and I used the jacuzzi and then I actually got a coffee in the kitchen which is, isn't that great of a coffee, I have to admit, but their food and everything looked really good. They have like an entire cafeteria, which is incredible. They have a salon there. Um, they also have a, like a spa where you actually get like massages and stuff, and I might hit that up on a Sunday sometime. But um, I'm headed to the office right now. Natalia's over there, I'm gonna meet her. But I also wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna eat, and I wanted to be honest because I know I can't be the only one feeling like this and I've been thinking like do I even want to share this should I even say anything but when I'm questioning myself about things I I realize that there's probably several other people out there that need to hear this I have been transitioning into being a vegan for the last three months and I've been eating mostly fish but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was eating tofu and soy, but I was eating a lot of it. I did my homework on it and I read studies and everything. Even Garrett didn't. Garrett's very knowledgeable. He's very smart. So I had him look into it too. It said if you eat too much, then it can mess with uh, women's hormones, but there's nothing that's really um, proven and we read up on all kinds of studies and stuff. So I was eating soy, I was eating tofu, and I actually started to break out on my face. So I've had one pimple there, one pimple here. I had one here, I had one here, and then I had one up here by my eyebrow. And I was so like, it was making me depressed because I never break out on my face. It's something I know I'm very blessed with. I get one pimple like, twice a year maybe it's very very rare that i get pimples so when i do it trips me out because it's like what is it that's giving me pimples so i stopped eating tofu and soy and i was just eating fish it's really hard just to eat fish all the time um and so i haven't been eating tofu or soy because i've been afraid of it but i'm gonna start adding it back into my meals because even after i stopped eating it i was still like breaking out so I don't know if it's just my body detoxing or what from like all the red meat and stuff I used to eat I have no idea what it is because it can't be stress level or anything because for the most part like I'm always like pretty I have all kinds of stuff going on so I don't know what it is but I'm trying to just <laughs> embrace the pimples I don't, I don't know how to do that but I'm having a hard time but I wanted to tell you guys that Right now, I am eating a salad palette turkey harvest, and I picked it up from Trader Joe's. I have probably ate 
chicken maybe twice in three months and red meat maybe about four to five times in the three months that I've been transitioning. But I've realized that I know a lot of people are like, I gave up meat and it's like super like easy for me. I could just, you know, plow forward. Like I don't miss the meat. You guys don't understand. I loved meat. I was seriously the last person that I ever thought was gonna transition into being vegan or even embrace the idea of it. So I'm proud of myself and how far I've come with it, but I still struggle eating meat sometimes. And I want you guys to know, because I know a lot of you girls watch the documentary, a lot of you girls have been messaging me, telling me, it's hard for you, you know, transitioning. And it is hard, it's not an easy thing. And maybe for some people it's easier, maybe for some people it's not. But for me, it's been a pretty hard transition. And I just wanna show you guys that I'm human and that I do eat meat still sometimes while I'm transitioning. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to transition. I've been told by several vegans that it took them a few years to fully turn vegan and transition. So it's definitely a work in progress. I'm not perfect, I'm not the perfect transitioner vegan person, but I do my best every day. And the fact that I'm even aware of what uh, plant-based diet is, plant-based protein, it's completely a different perspective on nutrition and every and everything that I knew. Because you guys remember, I used to eat meat at least five to six times a day. Being a bodybuilder and a bikini pro, we eat probably three times more meat than anybody else does. So for me to transition, it's been, it's, it's, it's been an amazing journey, but if I'm being honest, I still eat meat sometimes. So I just wanted to do a confession time because I needed to get off my chest because I almost feel ashamed. Like, I'm like, should I show them what I'm eating for lunch? I'm like, no, I don't want to show them what I'm eating for lunch because all the vegans are going to attack me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's the reality of it. So on my way to the office, my first day, like really actually going to the office and working, we were going to just organize, organize, organize. And I'm having a Trader Joe's cold pressed juice. All right. See you at the office. So this is all the inventory for the online boutique. So my electricity's not still not on. So my electricity is still not on. She said I have to go to the main meter to turn it on, I guess. So I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna get electrocuted. Ah, uh, but I'm on a mission to find the meter. So we literally built that entire shelf, but we built it upside down. Hour and a half later. So Natalia, literally, the electrician that came here, he legit brought us lunch. Wow, gracias. Yeah, tacos. Tacos, ¿qué más? You una soda? Pepino, pepino, cucumbers. Radish. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye. Yeah. Okay, so legit, I don't know how you girls do it out there, but the girls that get everything for free, I can't do that. I don't know why. <laughs> the electrician, electrician came here and he was, he actually ended up helping us with the shelves because we did it so wrong. But then he also brought us back tacos. Like, took him like 15 minutes or something. He brought us back tacos from the taco truck. Oh, okay. Natalia got skills. That's all I gotta say. When I look in your eyes, I see the stars. So we got a good amount done. 
Took us forever to make these shelves, but we got it done. I come inside, I get a bunch of love. What's up, Charlie girl? What's up, Charlie girl? That's up, baby. You miss me? I'm a working lady now. Thank you. And I came home to veggie grill. What'd you get me, babe? Matt. Uh, the Buffalo Bomber chicken sandwich. Fake chicken. Ah, yeah, there's also, lie. There's also some uh, crispy green beans or something like that. Oh. Yeah. No. Love you. Mwah. 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 Mwah.